welcome back to my channel once again so today i'm going to show you a trading view scalping strategy that can help you profit in the long run okay so if you have ever been looking for strategy to scalp in the forex market then this video is for you i'm not going to waste your, too much of your time let's go straight to the chat and let me show you so first thing first we are going to talk about time frame that you can use this scalping strategy on and secondly we are going to talk about the buy setup what you have to see before you buy the market and third we have to look at the set setup the selling setup okay what you have to see before you sell this market and lastly is the rules of the 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 strategy the rules that you have to look up for before you trade this that strategy and the last thing that is on on the screen to tell you which is the last thing that you have to wait for is the settings of the indicator that we are going to use in this strategy okay so let's get started with the tutorial back to the chart here so this is the settings of the indicator but it's the last thing that we are going to look out for so first thing first we have to define our time frame because we want to use this strategy to scalp the forex market you must use it on the 15 minute time frame i test this and it will work mostly on the 15 minute time frame so if you also want to use it you can try it on the 15 minute time frame but i assure you to try this on your demo account before you try it on live account because for us in cure very high risk so you must try everything that you see online when it works for you on the demo then you try it in a live account but i assure you this strategy work very very hard okay so make sure you you use everything that i'm going to tell you here go about by the rules and you are safe to use this strategy i use this strategy to make most money in the market when i'm idle i don't want to make analysis any technical analysis i use this to trade for some one hour and then i resign okay so this is the strategy so we now define the time frame that we want to use this strategy on a 15 minute time frame as is the time frame that it work most on so you have to open your chart go to the trading view and put your chart at 15 minute time frame so second thing we want to talk about is the buy setup okay for so what do you have to see before you buy okay so before you buy you must make sure that market is above this red line this red line market supposed to be above this and anytime that you see this that said buy buy then you have to enter a buying opportunity only if market is above the trend okay so you just have to bring up your order here this is confirmed by this buying candle candle here this candle confirmed the buy setup so i will just join at the open of this candle here okay then i put stop loss just below the candle that confirmed the setup okay so in this case this was the candle here i put my stop loss here and i have to risk to reward on this trade is 1.5 risk to reward so i just want to take something 1.5 risk to reward good so this is 1.5 risk to reward on this setup here so as soon as market is here then i come out from market okay because it's a scalping strategy more opportunities are coming you can see that market move 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 up but that doesn't matter for us if you want to modify the strategy and use it to hold trade that one is up to you but in this case what i try and it's work for me is what i'm telling you so we just pick a trade on this setup okay so let's move on for another setup so we have another setup here we have another setup here which was a buying setup here so this was the candle that confirmed the buy this bullish candle here so we just have to enter the setup make sure you wait for the candle to close and you enter at the next candle open so this one is here 
okay then i put stop loss below the candle that confirm the setup okay so this is the candle so i risk one is to 1.5 so here is 1.5 risk to reward on this one good then you are done with this one no matter how the market is moving just take your 1.5 risk to reward and you are gone because it's a scalping strategy so we are done with that one so here is another one here this is a buying setup and this was the candle that confirms it okay so you just have to enter the market here at this zone here and then you put the stop loss just below the candle that confirms it so this was the candle that confirmed the setup here so you risk 1.5 risk to reward just 1.5 then you are gone let's get the 1.5 here clear good 1.5 sorry this is 1.2 1.5 good i got 1.5 it's the indicator is just doing me some way b so this nearly hits your take profit but it's rather run into loss here with just a single p left it a single pip to enter this market i think if i get the 1.5 correct it will be in profit but my mouse and my hand cannot pick this correctly i'm seeing it here if you can see the risk to reward this is the risk to reward here is it let me zoom for you to see here is it so the risk to reward showing here is 1.5 five five okay but we want 1.5 okay so that is that setup and there is a rules of the game but that one i will tell you later when we reach there those are the buy setup so after you get the rules you know where this trade got wrong okay so let's pick one more trade here so this is another trade here the, this thing is above confirmed by this candle here then we pick a trade from this level this is confirmed here then stop loss just below the candle that confirmed the setup just here you can see this you can risk just six pips two pip and all to trade this so you bring this to 1.5 risk to reward okay 1.5 good 1.5 i got 1.4 but still good to go so we also have this correctly so let's look at the 13 which is the selling setup so we want to sell when market is below the red line okay when market is below the red line we want to sell only sell sell so this one the sell is confirmed by this candle here so we just have to input as we are doing okay so let me just show you there is a wrong trade here too the reason why it's wrong i'm going to tell you that is the last thing that i said the rules of the game okay so you if you continue going abide by the rules you will not pick these trades but there is a reason i'm picking it so i have to enter a trade from here okay then i put stop loss above this level this was the indicator sorry the candle that confirmed so risk to reward 1.5 risk to reward will be somewhere here good somewhere here and we got this trade wrong by coming to this level so let's move on to another selling setup this one market is above we can't take this trade this one market is below confirmed by this candle here so we just have to put this here our selling opportunity here open then we put stop loss just below the level below the candle here okay this was the candle that confirmed the buy then 1.5 risk to reward 1.5 risk to reward here okay good 
so let's pick another trade here this was the candle that confirmed the setup and we had it from here from the candle that confirmed and then we put our stop loss just below it just below it like this this one you can see the pip that we raised here is very very slow or low 1.5 risk to reward that will be something small that will be something small good so it's go on 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 like that till you are okay with your profit so we now know the time frame that we are trading on we now know how to buy and we now know how to sell okay so the fourth thing is the rules of the game so let's go back to where we started picking our trade so that we see the rules so we want to see the rules and you now know where these trades go wrong okay so we pick our first trade here so this is the deal here so you want to see the red line pointing up okay the red line pointing up before you start picking a trade so you can see from here the red line is flat so we don't need to be taking any trade here the red line is flat so as the red line reach at this particular level here look at it this level here it started pointing up it started pointing up that is why we pick a trade here at this particular level and we didn't pick any trade at this level here okay you can get this clearly so when the red line is flat we don't want to be buying unless the red line is pointing up we want to be buying the red line is pointing down when the red line is pointing down we want to be selling as soon as it got flattened we don't want to be taking any trade so let's now get why all these trades that we got wrong get wrong and we figure out the right probability trades okay so let me just delete this on a chart i just delete everything on the chart now so the red line started pointing up here so we pick the first trade here it went on right so the first red line is still pointing up we pick another trade here and it also went on well and this one this is where the line try to start flattening but it still show like pointing up so we pick a trade here so as we pick a trade here the trade went wrong okay so after the trade went on wrong you can see the line started flattening so the game here is that anytime you have a single wrong trade you have to wait 30 minutes before sorry you have to wait one to two hours before you start this over again because when you get this trade wrong you can see after getting this trade wrong the indicator which is the red line started flattening so when you wait after getting this trade wrong, you wait for one to two hours, you will see that the indicator got flattened. That is where you got those trades wrong. So like you continue after you get the first trade wrong, like you continue trading, you will realize that you'll be losing money because the indicator gets flattened. Okay, so that is for that place. So at this particular place, indicator started shooting up like this. And you see that when we pick this trade here it go on work but in my case by waiting one to two hours you may not pick this trade too okay so this is where the indicator starts to fall so you can see the indicator here is showing like something that will fall okay but it's not really really confirmed so that is where we pick a trade here the trade go wrong you can see the indicator is flattened at this point too you can see it you can see it that is flattened at this point too why are you going go to your place so indicator is flat at this point 
we got it wrong so when you come here to the indicator is still flat flat so we got this trade to wrong still flat so you see it pointing again good so you can see from here the indicator started pointing down again it started from this level you can see it here you see at this particular place the indicator started going to this direction so we now confirm that we can sell now and market is below the trend here so in this case we pick a trade here again it went correctly okay you can see this trade that we pick here it went on correctly this is another trade here when you pick this trade it will go correctly and this is another trade here too this one will go correctly this one too correctly and when you come here correct 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 and we pick a sell here correctly and this place you can see that you will not get any even wrong trade before the indicator flatten again because we pick a selling opportunity here and we come to the downside here and after reaching here market just goes straight and cross the indicator and the indicator is above we want to be buying market come below here no confirmation here market got flattened okay you can see it, it got flattened here flatten 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 and this is where we saw that the indicator to is pointing down again is pointing down again so we want to be selling so when you pick a sell trade here you will be in profit a sell trade here too you'll be in profit and let's go on a sell trade here you'll be in profit a sell here you'll be in profit and this is another a selling opportunity here the indicator is gotten flattened you can see that here too you will not get any wrong trade before the indicator flattened so here indicator got flattened again okay indicator got flattened again so you don't need to take any trade so you see it's pointing up again so you can do this over and over and you'll be profitable okay and i told you this is what i do if i don't have time to analyze the market this is what i do and keep on hipping hipping and you guys keep on losing so i want you to try this on a demo account before you use it on a live account and i show you you are going to cash out from forest markets now okay so last thing let me just tell you the in settings of the indicators and which indicators i use in this particular trend here so the first indicator here which is the red line which is giving us the market trend is called go to the indicator remember this only work in trading view so when you come to the indicator window here you search for trauma trauma t-r-a-m-a -A, trauma and this is it this is brought to you by lux argo so you add this to your your chart okay so the second indicator here you go to the indicator window again and you search for q trend q trend q trend okay good and then you pick this one there are more of them here you pick this one q trend which is brought to you by tarasenko tarasenko then you add it to your chart and you are done so when this work for you please come back and give a like to this video and give a leave a nice comment below this video so that this video will go viral and viral to make everybody profitable in the market goodbye and see you in my next video if you want to be receiving more videos from me make sure you subscribe as well and don't forget to leave a nice comment after you use this indicator to hit the market goodbye